Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video I want to go over the new updates for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and talk about how I want to tackle these as far as videos coming up over the next week or so. So, um, going to the notices, you'll notice that as of last night, there was a ton of stuff released all at the same time, which I have mixed feelings about. Part of me is frustrated because I'm like, man, why couldn't we have gotten a little bit of this at a time so it's not so overwhelming? But then part of me, the bigger part of me, is extremely excited because I think this is what the game needs. The game needs to feel like there's plenty of stuff to do, but not necessarily in a linear fashion where like you can choose to work on different things at different times based on you know what you find important or what you're interested in. And having a lot of things going on, I think also keeps the game interesting because I look at Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis in kind of, I look at the players of it in two camps. There's players where this is their main game or maybe only game. And this is the game you're logging into every day. You're, you know, wanting stuff to do. You're clearing out the shops and new events come up, you know, probably within the first 72 hours, you know, and then there's nothing to do. And you're kind of like, dang, you know, and then you've got to find something else to do. Uh, and then there's players who play it more casually. And this is like their second main game or, you know, something like that, right? Where they play it and they're kind of like, whatever. And the slower pace is fine. I really want this to continue to be a main game for me where I want to log in and play this more than any other game. So these kinds of things where they're you just batch releasing stuff, I really like. And I'll kind of get into that in this video. So here's the things that have been added. Uh, they've got a new story chapter, which I've just about finished, except for I did lose to the worm boss my first try. Uh, didn't know what to set up for. So I'll be having to retry that later. They added uh, new exchanges in the Tea Party uh, Festival Eggs thing. There's now a, um, a weapon for Red 13. That's kind of interesting. It, it's another fire potency weapon, so I'm really about that. Um, and I might go through that in this video. New Limit Breaks added. Now, this was teased already, and they kind of showed us this list. Um, and I will go through quickly and show where those actually, you can find those and how they're kind of working. Um, let's see here. There's a new chapter release campaign, which kind of makes sense because they've also released Kate Sith. I am really excited about that as well. I like Kate Sith. I think he's just a really unique character. Uh, not, I can't think of many other games of any other game that has a character quite like him uh, in, in multiple ways. So I'm very excited about that. And there's a new banner. Really, really big stuff here. Uh, these things here, I don't really care about. This is more for, you know, paid banner kind of stuff or paid draw kind of stuff. So that's what we've got going on. And the way that I'm going to break up this these videos is this. I want to do Kate Sith justice, first and foremost. And I've looked through all of his skills. I've looked through his kit. Uh, but I'd really like to get him up to level 70 and test him out first. Um at least i don't know maybe you know do some draws obviously with the tickets i've got 60 tickets for him which i will record for you guys but i'd like to do that before uh, i make my video on him which kind of makes things a little bit awkward because i'd also technically like to do that before i did a banner review uh because whether or not you should pull would kind of depend on the other half of the banner which is kate sith so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some things, uh, kind of talk about, you know, what's going on update wise, and then maybe review Tifa's weapon because I can do that pretty easy in her outfit. And then at a later date, uh, I will come back and do a Kate Sith review. And then also maybe more in depth review about what I think about his stuff as far as banner, what weapons I would wish list and all that kind of stuff. And then I will decide later on, even after that, uh, whether or not to draw because obviously we only have three more days and so I this may have happened once but I can't think of a time where we've had four banners at once I am very excited about four banners at once because if they did this more frequently instead of only feeling like you can have one maybe two banners up at a time the problem with that is that's why characters like Barrett are left in the dust because they have to make a choice on who they're gonna put up. And if they're only gonna put up two characters at a time, 
and then wait a few weeks and then two more characters well it's really tough when you get this large cast of characters to be having weapons for all of them constantly personally i love this because i would like to see more of let's make choices instead of whether or not to pull on this banner why don't why can't it be which banner should you pull on and each one could be equally good but maybe different strategies based on your comp or based on the characters you like i would love to see that because maybe then barrett for example could be included more often or red 13 could be included more often that would be great and yes then that means the whales are gonna have to spend a lot more but and and you know maybe uh dolphins or light spenders are gonna have to be more choosy right um and free to play has to be a lot more choosy but isn't that better to be able to make those choices rather than do i pull or not i like to be able to say man there's so many good things this game has to offer as long as it doesn't get to a point where not being able to have all of that stuff makes it impossible to clear content i am here for it I want to know what you guys think, by the way. I'd like to see some comments about, you know, how you feel about that. But I, I personally love it. So, yeah, we've got all kinds of different stuff going on with these banners. And I think what's really cool here is there are, like, eight different characters featured, right? We have Sephiroth. We have Zack. We have Glenn. We have Cloud. We have Lucia. We have Aerith. We have Tifa and Kate Sith. Eight different characters right now for the next three days are featured on banners which is so cool i'll be honest though just as a disclaimer right off the bat with this new banner coming up i'm i think i might actually sit on this banner and not pull uh i think it might be a mistake for overall meta but i'm really excited about kate sith though and i really like tifa so this banner may just have to take priority and i will deal with that uh, however, I like where we're at. So real quickly, I'm going to just go ahead and show the event. So uh, three days left on the Knights of Judgment. I would say most of you probably have cleared out everything that you need in this event. I know I was as of like, I don't know, five or six days ago. So I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, the tea party here, um, you have obviously in the exchange shop now, there is the egg collar and so this is very similar to zach's weapon boost magic attack boost fire potency i like this just because for free weapons hey this is extra fire potency with the zach sword to stack up i think that's really really good very generous here with the stuff that's offered i've already cleared a couple things out of this pretty good stuff so i am excited that they've at least kind of updated that a little bit um, coming back to home screen, uh, the other thing I want to show is obviously you know that there's a new story. It's going to be chapter six. And then we have the character growth. So every character, uh, I've started working on Kate Sith's by the way, but every character now at the very bottom will have this little triangle of skills. Okay. So here you have dice is what he starts with. I'm trying to unlock a uh, toy box at the moment. And then I'll work on the Moogle dance. Um, I, I haven't actually been able to cast dice yet. Uh, just because the team I have leveling him up kills things before he ever gets a limit off. Uh, but I would like to see how this works. I find that interesting because I don't exactly know what strength increase means. Uh, because none of these stats are called strength. So that's interesting. But I'd like to test that out. Um, as far as other characters go, it's the same way, right? Uh, if you come in... You go all the way to the bottom and it's a triangle so you've got the main skill that you started with here the second skill and then the third skill will appear, appear over here and you can unlock that uh, by hitting select start um i believe once you do that things like these two here would be uh, unlocked automatically uh, just because maybe you would have to redo uh, basement 50 of uh tower of cetra but like, for example, raising Sephiroth level 60, you can't redo. So that would obviously have to be automatically unlocked. Um, some of these things would be automatically unlocked if you have them there. Um, that's really cool. And I can't wait to test some of those out and kind of see what there is to do. But again, um, at the moment, I'm, I'm just kind of trying to keep these videos under like 20 minutes. Uh, and I have a lot to say about things. So 
that's why I'm kind of breaking it up. So without further ado, I'm going to get into uh, my thoughts on just the first half of this banner, just Tifa, because I want to do Kate Sith in a separate video where I actually go through his whole kit. And I want to really give myself a chance to be thoughtful about it. And then I'll also do summons with that. Okay, so what I think about Tifa here. Um, outfit is good. <laughs> Uh, it's real good. I uh, love these boots. Those are cool. Uh, the fishnet stockings. I, uh, it's fine. Nothing, you know, I'm, I don't care one way or the other. Uh, this little pocket watch here. Why not? Great detail. Uh, the like leather, uh, skirt with the white belt. That's pretty cool. I think all of this looks good. Um, I, I do. I think all of this looks really good. I can tell you when I opened it on my emulator though, there was like a weird, line right here where it looked like they like connected her arm to her body uh, i'm glad to see that that doesn't appear to be here on uh the steam version um other than that she looks great here uh i mean you know uh i i give it a thumbs up uh it's called the bunny bustier and uh let's see here water blade arcanum okay i think that's really good we only have to my recollection and it's getting hard to keep track of them all so i'm sure one of you or 10 of you will correct me if i'm wrong but i think cloud's the only other person that has a water arcanum maybe maybe zach got one at some point but i don't have one i don't have one at all so this is kind of good boost magic ability potency is interesting because it's going a different direction for tifa everything that tifa's really gotten has been physical based for the most part now, for me personally, I do have, uh, if we come down here, it might be the fastest way to do this. My crystal gloves are like OB9 for her. Uh, and those are magic based. So that's like, other than that though, like every weapon that I have for Tifa, I'm um, thinking, you know, like Holy Flame Gloves, physical attack. Uh, some of them you can't wish list here, but you know, uh, the Amaranth Claws, the Guide Gloves, those are the two limited ones. Those are both physical based. Um, motor drive physical based and then obviously sonic striker physical based there's not a lot of magical based stuff here upper shot is even physical based i think kaiser knuckles okay leather gloves is physical based as well kaiser knuckles is magical based so out of all the weapons that i currently use for tifa um i'll be honest uh i don't have power soul i think i have them maybe at, like well, just like a five star. Like only one weapon that I have is magical based and I'm not using it for damage. So the question there, I guess, is do I want to take Tifa in a totally different direction and round her out for magic now that I already have her completely set up for physical? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would, I, I need to think about that. I do think this is good. In fact, Clouds is water mastery, is it not? I don't think it is water Arcanum. So I don't know exactly. I'd have to do a little bit of looking to see who has a water Arcanum or if they exist at the moment. That's kind of good. Bunny gloves, the new weapon. Um, let's see, Aqua Slash. Looking at him at, okay, looking at him at OB10, uh, the good and the bad. Starting with the easy part, magic attack, magic attack, X sigil break, good. All right, it clears that. Um, our abilities, not the greatest i don't like that it only it maxes out at 26 points of water potency i mean that's the same as the fire potency on the the two free weapons in the event fire potency right i'm not i'm not happy with that because at ob6 even at level 120 by the way right and normally we were looking at things you know we've been looking at a lot of things at level 90 so looking at this at 120 which means it has even more points in these r abilities only 18 water potency at OB6, I think is bad. I really do. That That is not that good. Uh, magic attack 40, going up to 46. Our abilities aren't great for this weapon. Uh, as far as max damage, 850. That's that's with the meta on the current uh, you know, elemental damage abilities. OB6, 710, that's fine. Okay, but then we've got this second part here, 50% uh, or more. So if HP is, you know, above that 50% threshold, it increases her magic attack, potency low. Okay, out of the box, it's potency low, goes up to mid, OB6 high. 
and even at OB10 load high. So, okay, I've looked at this for a little bit, and this seems bad. However, I don't think it's nearly as bad as it seems. And here's why. Because if you look at other weapons that do similar stuff, they usually always at least come up to potency mid by OB6, if not potency high, right? Um, Amaranth Claws obviously comes to mind for Tifa because I have those at, and I wanted to get them at OB6 because OB6 is when it started out at potency high. These don't do that. That seems like they're bad, but but let me let me pose a counterpoint here. The difference between Amaranth Claws and these is a lot of times, I mean, the majority of battles that I go into, I'm using Amaranth Claws one time to get the buff, and I'm happy that they do damage along the way. But then after that, I'm switching to whatever element I have that's, that's good for that boss. Or even now, if it's just non-elemental physical damage, I'm usually going to Guide Gloves or something else. These... Assuming you're going to use them when you need water weakness, you're going to use these over and over and over again. You're not using these for the buff and then switching to another water weapon. That, well, first off, doesn't exist for Tifa and, you know, just wouldn't make sense, right? So, it makes sense that, that the potency is low because they know you're going to keep repeating this. And so, I think it's actually pretty good. I don't like our abilities, though. So, I'm torn on this weapon. I kind of think it's, like, mediocre. And if we look, for example, and I'm going to use uh, Sky Splitter as an example, right? Uh, fire potency, boost physical attack 46, right? Which is the same, and 40 at, at OB6, all right? So, that's the same as the magical stat. But then, 39 versus 26 for Tifa. And at OB6, 27 versus 18 on the elemental potency. I do not like that. So you're trading that potency off for, like, this is Cloud's weapon, right? He just gets 850. Whereas Tifa's, every time she attacks, she is stacking magic attack buffs on herself. That, you know, presumably would almost last the whole battle if she just keeps needing to use the elemental weapon. And I'm comparing it to Sky Splitter because Sky Splitter kind of set the new meta with this 850% ability damage. Uh, it's got the same kind of stuff going on here. So I think these weapons are very similarly situated. And everybody would agree that Sky Splitter is a great weapon. So you're really saying, is it worth sacrificing overall 13 points to your, your elemental potency for a self-buff? on you know the type of damage that you're doing and i don't i don't know because it requires a hundred points to max fire ability potency now sure after level uh eight you're getting diminishing returns right on any elemental ability potency because here we can see it goes up 15 points it's gone up 15 points most of the way and then it starts only going up by 10 meaning that you know you're getting diminishing returns however uh, getting it up to as high as level 8 is still not easy. And so using this as the main weapon is going to be your main source of your ability potency. And when we're looking at that on this weapon, I mean, even if this is OB10, it's only giving 26. That just isn't, doesn't make me feel good, right? Doesn't make me feel good. And And comparing it to maybe what I would use if I wasn't using her, it would be Cloud with uh, Maritime Sword. And I do have that at OB6, which has more water potency than that weapon at max, right? And it, you know, this, it goes up again, 39. And yes, you're sacrificing 100% damage. So maybe that is worth the trade-off. But I'm torn on it. That's, that's the, I guess, the end of the day is that I'm torn on whether or not that weapon is that good. I think it's pretty good, but ultimately, I think I'll have to wait till I get to see like more of what I think of Kate Sith before I would make a decision on, you know, how I want to set this up. Uh, but I'll be honest, I, I think there's a good chance as long as I don't get screwed on my Kate Sith draws uh, over here, 
that I'd like to use him in my party, and I may try to pull for his stuff. So, I will cover him. I will cover, I think my Kate Sith will be the next video that I do. I'm hoping I can get around to that tomorrow or maybe Saturday. Uh, we'll have to just see. But that's what I've got for now. I know this video ended up going over 20 minutes, I think. So, it is what it is. But I, I just think there's so many things to talk about. And obviously, you can skip around if you want. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Uh, for future content so that you don't miss out. If you are subscribed, just know I really, truly appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.